Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. Bitcoin trading again below $70,000. Even though we are not at new all time highs, I think that we still can celebrate that Bitcoin is nicely trading in such high levels, uh, guys. At least for now, I think that in the future we will be at much, much higher levels. So we should be extremely bullish and enjoy this time, guys, That because that even below, uh, even if we are below $70,000, the Bitcoin halving is in front of us, so we have to be very, very bullish. So make sure to have a nice drink ready. I am drinking only coffee here, but you should be already celebrating because this is the nice time, guys. This is like the calm before the storm. This is like the moments whenever you can diversify, you can uh, stack more sets, you can buy more Bitcoin, you can buy more altcoins, whatever you want. Um, because we are before the big run. We are before the nice times. And in order to enjoy the upcoming times, you have, of course, to be ready and be diversified right now. Of course, mostly into Bitcoin. This is no financial advice, just what I'm doing. I'm putting mostly into Bitcoin everything I have. And of course, also diversifying into some altcoins and also coins um, uh, that are around here since long time and all the new ones. So that means that I'm not only uh, stacking more Ethereum and uh, more other altcoins. I'm also interested in some short term gains that you can do, of course, with tokens uh, uh, and meme coins that are not yet listed on exchanges or are completely new. So that's why before we're going to dive into the Bitcoin chart, uh, we're going to uh, have a look into some new coins that uh, are interesting in my opinion right now and where I see already or now some hype around it. Basically on every meme coin that there is something to do with this Solana, Slotana, Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, Pepe and so on. We have seen so many altcoins, especially um, those meme coins on the Ethereum blockchain and also other altcoins together performing pretty nicely in the past. And I think that they will continue to perform like that during this bull run. And uh, if you go into the video description, first of all, you will see all exchanges that I'm using. Those, those are the top notch exchanges that you can use. So you have here a nice, uh, uh, a nice, let's say, bouquet of nice exchanges that you can use. If you sign up to them with my links, you will get some extra bonus. And then here you see the new project coins. Those are all the new coins that you can buy before they're getting listed on exchanges. Currently, in my opinion, the best ones are Slotana. This you can still buy. It is almost over. So hurry up if you want to buy it. Then the other one is Dogecoin 20. It's coming out in less than 10 days. And we have also a completely new one, Dogeverse. I see already a lot of people talking about this uh, coin, even though it is still completely new and not yet out. You can still buy it uh, at a very cheap price. I think that we are still in round one or two or something like that. You can use Ethereum or also Matic, uh, now also AVAX joint. Uh, BNB and so on. Uh, you can directly buy it with your MetaMask wallet if you're interested. So as you can see, there are a bunch of new coins that are coming out. If you want to invest into some gaming tokens, then we have Fifth Scape. This is a VR token that is coming out soon. You can read everything about the product and the games that will be available uh, on this machine um, uh, directly on the website. And uh, if you want to have some free tokens, then check out AI Pay because on this one, if you use my link that you also find here in the video description, you will get, where is it here right at the top, you will get 100 tokens for free. Uh, let me quickly log in. So I'm going to show you quickly the dashboard. And uh, you have the, um, you have the, the 100 tokens locked in this uh, website, of course, until they're going to launch. They're going to launch in the 1st of June, I think. So, okay, I put the wrong password. Let me retry again, if I remember well. Uh, you can uh, buy if you want. Uh, the price is extremely low, as you can see here. But um, 100 tokens you can get completely for free, guys. Uh, you just have to use the link in the video description. And then, of course, you, if you want to buy some, because the price is really, really low, uh, you can use several coins and stable coins here to, to buy. But remember that you are only able to uh, trade it once they're going to launch. And uh, it is approximately on the 1st of June. Then you're able to sell it on Uniswap, MetaMask here on the website or also through exchanges because once this is listed on exchanges, then of course uh, 
it's much more easier to trade and this is usually also the time when we see those big pumps but until then you can just accumulate if you want otherwise just get some free tokens here those are all the tokens that are not yet listed on exchanges the other ones like Slotana, dogecoin 20 dogeverse you have to buy of course and uh, on this channel i'm always uploading uh, the newest updates uh, and uh, the newest the coins and things uh, that are around here in the crypto space so also subscribe to this one if you want otherwise i'm also gonna keep you here of course updated um yeah so Bitcoin, if we dive here into the charts, had this uh, fake out to the upside. I told you yesterday, guys, with this video, probably a, fal a false breakout because we didn't see that overwhelming money flow uh, that should be incoming whenever we see a valid breakout. Immediately it decreased and while it decreased, uh, the, the pump continued. And uh, I told you that I think that this most likely is going to end up in a nothing burger. That means that most likely... Uh, we're going to retrace into this uh, uh, symmetrical triangle, so below this resistance trend line. And if we do so, over time, most likely we're coming back down towards the support area down here at the low 60s. And in my opinion, this is possible. Uh, for everyone that is trading on my trading uh, group over on Telegram, um, I told you to short, but um, I would take right now some profits, even though I think we will go lower because a bounce is potentially incoming, but over time we probably are coming uh, back down. And those kind of shorts or longs, I would only do scalp trading. So within a range you can trade because otherwise um, Bitcoin, of course, over the long term is going to much higher levels. So shorting Bitcoin is always very dangerous. I wouldn't do that for too long, especially during this bull run and the trend is your friend. So the trend is still to the upside. Bitcoin can even crash down to 50K or 40K. We are still in an uptrend. Uh, so that's why in the bigger picture, the trend is still going higher and higher. But of course, short term, if you want to do some short term gains, you can, of course, short and long those uh, moves whenever we go up and down. And if you don't have time to do that, then maybe check out Bitscap. Also here in the video description, you have the link to Bitscap. This is a trading bot that you can set up 14 days for free. If you sign up with my link, then you can set up a trading bot that is doing that for you. If we are trading in a, in a sideways consolidation phase, um, but of course, as soon as we have the big breakouts, then you have to trade manually. And one of the main reasons why I believe that here we're gonna, or yeah, that we're gonna see another breakdown below this interior new support at $70,000 was also because of the Bitcoin ETF outflows that we had um, on Monday. And also yesterday we had an outflow, not that much but it is also an outflow. It is possible that, again, uh, we're gonna see in the next coming days uh, a rise again here in the Bitcoin ETFs that we're gonna have again positive money flow and um, not money flow, but uh, inflows uh, in, into the Bitcoin ETFs. And that's why I think that a bounce here is still possible. If it's going to be sustainable, I'm not very sure yet because also it looks like in the four hour that we're forming a potential head and shoulders pattern. If this one is breaking out to the downside, then of course uh, the target is still in the low uh, 60s. But uh, that's why uh, a bounce is possible, especially if here we're getting again positive numbers. But um, if it's going more or less flat or even lower again, uh, so if we get again negative money, uh, again negative outflows, then of course uh, uh, this will also favor it here more downside than anything else. So I think that this big um, bull run, it will continue. Um, but only once we have the Bitcoin halving in a few days. And uh, also if we see here suddenly um, the, the inflows rising like we had before, then I think that we're gonna see a very explosive move in the Bitcoin price. If somehow here, after the Bitcoin halving, we would see a lot of red numbers, and this could be, of course, a warning sign that the potential local top is in and that we should be ready for a massive correction before we continue that bull run. But I don't expect that scenario. I still think that once we have the Bitcoin halving, uh, then we have that we're gonna have a, a big supply shock and also the Bitcoin production cost will rise from currently $30,000 up to $60,000. So that number will double. We can go here over into the daily chart. I think in the daily chart, you can see that very clearly. Uh, if we open up here, the um, uh, where is it? The Bitcoin production cost it should be here somewhere. Let me pull out my indicators and take first a cup of coffee. 
a sip of this nice cup of coffee coffee is very good in switzerland guys uh, it's of course all italian brands but um here we do also italian like coffee which is great um i wanted to look for the bitcoin production cost uh, indicator uh here should be this one over here if i'm not wrong i don't know why it's not in my favorite list but it should be there so this is the bitcoin production cost and you can see that every time we are um, coming down to the bitcoin production cost this is always a good uh, buy opportunity especially whenever the bull run is over it's always good to have a look into the bitcoin production cost because as you can see the bit the, the, the price is coming down towards that production cost until we touch it until we bottom out there and then gear up for another big run and every time you buy at the production cost it's basically a good buy opportunity it's also a very good indicator that you can use whenever you should buy bitcoin and you're not sure um so basically it is right here at thirty thousand dollars once we have the bitcoin halving it will jump up to 60 to around sixty thousand dollars that means that there we should have the new base then for bitcoin that's why we could eventually come down towards 60k but um, everything below 60k would be a very good buy opportunity for the next coming months and probably even years um, also here in the past you can see that as soon as we had the bitcoin halving like here it jumped from four thousand dollars straight away to nine thousand dollars even more than that and you can see that the price came down to test it and immediately we had here a, a little dump in the production cost uh, to around seven thousand dollars but still more or less the double of this so that means that bitcoin even after the halving can eventually dump down to 60k or 50k that is possible but after the halving in general we see then a huge uptrend and we're gonna definitely then see those parabolic uh, run-ups but of course we're gonna update here the production cost um, probably all the time as soon as we have the bitcoin halving until we really uh, are starting again to create a new all-time highs uh, so let me take this again away and um, yeah so basically we are retracing back into this uh, symmetrical triangle here in the daily time frame we're getting some support here at the 20 daily and mid and nine of the calter channels here of course we have a lot of support as soon as we have a daily close below sixty eight thousand five hundred dollars we're gonna crash straight away down towards the support area at around 63k and today we're gonna have some cpi data so in the traditional markets we are getting some news that of course could eventually trigger a potential catalyst that will bring bitcoin again down towards 63k but at the other hand if somehow we would see a bounce and good news and have again daily closes above the resistance at seventy thousand five hundred dollars we're gonna see continuation to the upside so today in my opinion we will get some news that could uh, um, trigger here the next big move in which direction that we are moving but doesn't matter how the news are or, or what kind of news that we will get in my opinion it is more likely that we probably are coming down to retest the low 60s again but otherwise of course in the bigger picture we're still looking extremely bullish so we will most likely go to new all-time highs very soon latest once we have the bitcoin halving we may be going to have another boring time in front of us who knows that we can consolidate for the next coming weeks and months but the trend is your friend and you can see that bitcoin is going higher and higher it's just a matter of time until we are getting um here new all-time highs in my opinion and um so far i still don't see uh, a potential local top at least for now in the monthly time frame and of course also on the weekly we are trading on extremes we are very overbought we are above the top side of the calder channels even here on the monthly on the monthly time frame once we have here a sell signal like we also had in the past usually this is the time when we see the price coming down to the 9 or 20 monthly moving average the 9 monthly is currently at forty-five thousand dollars the 20 monthly is at 34k so i don't say that we have to crash down to these prices immediately but if somehow we don't see immediately continuation to the upside here and we would start to have again monthly closes below the top side of the calendar channels because during a bull run bitcoin keeps the monthly closes above once we are retracing below the top side of the calendar channels then we see a retracement to the median line or to the 20 monthly moving average so down here at around 30k i don't expect that but just that you know that this can happen or at least this is what happened in the past um yeah one indicator that i'm looking if somehow we uh, would suddenly start to rally like crazy to the upside or um or in general where i would take at least initial profits of this bull run 
is of course the pi cycle indicator and currently here we have completely no signs that a potential top is in and even if we crash down to the short term moving average at 54k I would not risk right now to take profits just to rebuy back at 54k. You can of course short, you can of course try that out with uh, if you're taking now some profits, but I personally wouldn't do that. I would only start to take some profits if somehow suddenly the short term moving average is going above the long term moving average and you can see that we are far away from um, each other. So I think that this could be the trading range between 54 uh, to 75k until we're gonna see uh, really explosive moves to the upside but only once the short term moving average is crossing above the long term moving average is what we have seen in the past this is whenever or, or this is um, when Bitcoin usually is creating uh, the cycle top and you can see that also here in the past we had the cycle top we had the short term moving average crossing the long term moving average and the, here if you, if you took profits then of course uh, you could have waited until the bear market was over to rebuy into Bitcoin. But you see that even after you took profits here, we crashed here uh, more than 50% and then had another run up to new highs. And only after that one, we started the bear market and crashed all the way down to the bear market bottom. So of course it is always difficult to catch the absolute top or bottom. It's very difficult, very hard. And even those kind of moves are difficult to catch but they are possible and that's why also here if you're taking profits I would never sell everything if you think that we're gonna crash next down to 50k or 40k and, and you want to buy more there of course go ahead take some profits and rebuy down here but if it's not happening if from here on we immediately are going to pump towards uh, 150 180 200 thousand dollars and then have that cross here this is the time when you want to take profits and not right now I wouldn't look out now for small gains. I would be in here for the big game. We are in front of the big game, guys. Exciting times ahead. The big game is in front of us. Until the short term is not crossing the long term moving average, in my opinion, it's just good to buy every dip, to buy every bigger crash with fresh fiat and save like that purchasing power with Bitcoin and not try to um, to catch local little local tops and lit, little uh, bottoms here be in here for the big game and therefore we have to have diamond hands we have to keep our bitcoin even though all everything is screaming that a correction is incoming at least until the short term moving average is not crossing above the long term moving average then we can start to think about maybe to take some profits if we see everything overheated bitcoin trading again or already uh, above two hundred thousand dollars we have the pie cycle indicator flashing warning uh, you should take profits and so on maybe then we can start to take uh, some profits but until then i wouldn't do that and also keep in mind that because of the bitcoin etfs we have now a big player or big players because you see all the companies with those etfs that are now in the markets and 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 all the customers of those companies and banks, they have now access uh, to buy spot Bitcoin, even without understanding how Bitcoin is working and why they actually should buy the real Bitcoin and not the ETFs. This is just if you are buying some kind um, of a derivatives, also if you're, for example, going long or short over on Bybit or Femex, whatever exchange that you're using, if you go long or short, you're not really buying Bitcoin or selling Bitcoin. This is just a derivative. So the real thing is to buy the real Bitcoin and put it in a ledger, put it offline somewhere and forget about it. This is like the real Bitcoin and what people should buy and not um, the ETFs. But of course, like that, uh, when people are buying the ETFs, the companies, they have to buy the, the, the real Bitcoin. They have to buy the spot Bitcoin. And like that, of course, like some kind, like in a way, they are also buying Bitcoin, but they are not owning it, of course. And that's why just because of that, I think that even much more, much higher price levels, probably even higher than the Pi cycle indicator potential top that will be somewhere uh, is possible. But um, that's why you can never always uh, be completely out of Bitcoin or completely in Bitcoin with everything you have because you, you want to buy the dips. You want to take sometimes some profits because you want to buy something uh, that, that is completely normal. But um, um yeah, I think that with this run up, it's probably even possible that we go to much higher levels, even after here the Pi cycle indicator top is in. But this is what we have to analyze once we get it. Until then, 
I just think that it's too risky to sell Bitcoin right now, even though there are some signs that at, at some point a correction down towards uh, 50 or 40k is still in the cards. But uh, I definitely wouldn't count on that. And I still expect that very, very soon, even if you were coming down towards 60 or 50k, that we are going to see new all-time highs in the next coming weeks and months. All right, guys. And with that said, I'm going to wrap it up for now. The video is already too long. Thank you for watching. Probably in the future, we are going to do more live streams, guys, because the videos are taking too much time. There are so many things that we have to talk about every day. Uh, I have to do several videos or I just going to have uh, to make uh, live streams. But you find always all the newest things in my channel. In this one, of course, all the important crypto products you find in the video description and also join me in my other social media platforms, the other YouTube channels and so on, because with uh, all of them or, or, or on all of them, you get access to the newest news. All right, guys. So thank you for watching and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye for now.